Hey, it's Clay, CPATMyWay, CPATMyWay.com. Today we are here to discuss the new arrival, the Evora Full Face from Fisher & Paykel. Um, I'm a big fan of these minimal contact full faces, that's what I call them anyway. Uh, and finally, Fisher & Paykel is in the game. Fisher & Paykel does make a really good mask typically. Uh, we really love the Viterra, the Bravita, the Evora Nasal. Uh, the Isan 2, all of them are really good quality masks, and um, I don't think this one's going to disappoint. A couple of things about it while it's on the head here. Minimal contact is what I term it, but basically it doesn't touch the bridge of the nose, right? It rests underneath the nose, and as I take it off, you'll see how, um, how you're able to breathe through your nose. But profile-wise, it's nice and flat. Reminds me a lot of the, um, the Amara View, which I like so much. You know, there's not something sticking off the front. Um, and it also doesn't have the tubing up top of the head, you know? So like the Dreamwear Full or the F30i, you know, they've got the hook up on top. And some people like that, some people hate it. Uh, one positive about it is that it makes a much more low profile front of the mask. Well, this particular mask kind of gives you the best of both worlds, right? The tubing is on the front, but it comes off the bottom here, which gives you a real low profile side view anyway. Um, Headgear is pretty darn standard. It's much like the rest of them, right? You got one strap to keep it uh, in place up top. You do have some adjustments to tighten that uh, on the top there to you know, raise the, um, the mask up on your face a bit. And it's got the nice breathe breathable fabric on the back, which uh, a lot of people like about that Viterra that came out recently from Fisher & Paykel, full face. Um, and then you've got the nice little elephant trunk tube coming off the front, which is kind of funny. Um, it's not super stretchy, but it does give you a little bit of give there. Um, it's not nearly as stretchy as like the Amara View is, but um, a lot of people like a little stretch too because it gives them a little more leeway on the back and forward motion in bed. Your quick connect is at the end here. Um, they're a little stiff when you first get them. That usually gets better. One thing about these quick connects is that they blend in very well with the end of your tube, so make sure you don't leave it stuck in there if you switch to a new mask or get a new uh, replacement in. Always check the end of your tube if your mask doesn't connect right. But let's take it off and look at it in detail here. The, uh, the mask is available as a fit pack now, which is kind of a, deal, a good deal, right? So you got the extra small, small, medium, and large. Once again, I have no idea why in the world they make a small, medium. Can we just call it small, medium, and large? I, I don't know. Must be something about that. But extra small, small, medium and large are the sizes. This happens to be a small medium, but the notice inside here, you will have the small and the large, if you're getting the fit pack, that is. You can also order them, obviously, with individual sizing. You'll have your care guide and then some little quick start stuff here. Um, there's a couple of really cool things that they did with this. For one, um, you notice it's got the same headgear clips as that Viterra full face, which are really simple, right? So you just clip them right on, and then if you kind of give them a push down, I always tell people to kind of fit your way along there, and then just push down with your thumb, and it'll release it, which is nice. Um, once you do that, you've got your bottom straps loose. There's a little quick connect on the front of the mask here that holds the top part of the headgear on. So similar to how that Viterra had the little part that slides in and out, they came up with a pretty creative design for this as well for maintenance, right? So you just, and you can be pretty rough with it. It's very flexible and easy, which is nice. So if you're maintaining it, grab that sucker, rip it right off, take it to the sink and, uh, and clean it. We'll get to that in a little more detail later. Um, you can also disconnect right here. Um, that's kind of oval shaped. So, you know, when you're going to put it back on there, make sure you get it on there the right way if you get it nice and close there. Uh, you got your little anti-asphyxiation flap in there. Uh, one thing about these, hopefully you can see that articulating a little bit in there. Um, if you're not cleaning your mask, a lot of times that gets a little gunky and those can get sticky and start making a popping noise from time to time. So make sure you clean it really well, uh, which we'll go over in a little more detail in a minute. So it's coming as a fit pack. Um, so obviously all size cushions will fit the same frame. Um, the cushion's in there pretty good. So I will tell you, you gotta give it a pretty good pull. I found that if you kind of put your fingers on the inside of both of these holes, as well as, try to get that out of the way, grab the, the, the actual hard plastic of the mask and just kind of pinch and pull, it'll pop right out of there. Don't yank on the um, silicone here because you could eventually pull this part loose here and that's not good. Make sure you're always holding on to the hard plastic. Give it a little, it's pretty flexible, but just give it a little pinch and pull. 
and then it slides back in the exact same way and pops into place. Um, you also notice on the bottom it's kind of ridged, cut out there, so I'll do it from that way as well. Give it a little pull, pops loose, and goes back the exact same way. You hear it snap into place. Um, so all sizes fit that same frame. That's a nice deal. Um, it's a really great mask to fit at home yourself because all sizes are included. Um, the one cool thing that they did on this, you'll notice it's got a, a nice deep V there, right? So the front of your nose will fit in there um, pretty comfortably. But the thing about a person like me is I've got a little bit of a pointy nose. I don't know if you can see that but I've got a skinny pointed nose. And for a lot of these minimal contacts, I end up with leak up the side. And uh, on a mask like this, where there's a nice bit of flex and there's a lot of side angle, uh, it gives me a better seal. And this one in particular gives me a pretty darn good seal because of the way it, uh, it's designed. So without further ado, let's try her on. All right, so for the sake of the machine not turning on by itself, which is kind of frustrating when you're first fitting a mask, I always, Put the little quick connect in there, right? And then pull the mask loose so that uh, I can fit it without having the, uh, the machine kick on and drive me nuts. Um, and as far as fitting this one, it's very similar to the rest of the minimal contacts that are like this. So like the MR of you or the F30. Um, I like to pull the headgear all the way into the front, kind of inside out it a little bit. Fit the part underneath their nose right there. So under, and then grab the back of your headgear here. Right? So under, Grab the back of your headgear, pull it over, okay? And then one at a time, pull these straps around and snap it on to the little ridges there. A lot of times um, it's best to do this in a mirror, but I'm gonna just do it real quick. So just snap it on there. Snap it on there. All right. One thing you want to be careful of is not dragging it down your face because you'll completely screw up the way this fits underneath your nose. It needs to start off underneath the nose, then pull the headgear over. Some people can do it by just leaving one mat, one headgear uh, strap attached, and you'll figure it out on your own once you get used to it. But the key is to fit it underneath the nose first. Then one at a time, evenly on both sides, adjust the top so that it stays stable up top then adjust the bottom so that it'll seal up against the face. Stability first, then tighten for seal. So we'll do that real quick. All right, so adjust it here. Make sure it's snug on the nose there. All right, no gaps or anything like that. And then tighten here as well. Good. All right, let's look it up. All right, that's running. Let's go on some pressure of 12. and it's really quiet. The leaks, exhalation kind of comes out of the sides right here. You don't feel a whole lot in front of the face. It disperses down a little bit. I'm right there before I feel anything. Taking it off just as you go here. Push down, go here, push down. Up and over once you get those pushed down. Um, the exhalation ports, which I was trying to talk, I know you guys can hear me really well when I'm talking like that, but um, they're uh, ported right on each side of the tube here and they kind of point down a little bit, which is gonna, I think, be nice for the bed partner. Um, so it does. it's not as like directed out and because it goes both directions i think it'll probably do a good job of um of dispersing that exhalation really well 
But overall, we really like it. I'm, I'm excited to see Fisher and Paykel get into this particular uh, realm of mask. Um, they always make a good mask. Obviously, this thing's brand new, so we don't have a ton of track record with it. But first uh, comparison to the others, it's definitely right up there as far as performance, and, and we expect a lot of good things out of it. So as always, hit us with some feedback. Things you think I missed, I'll be happy to address them. Um, if you've experienced it and had a good or bad experience, we'd love to hear that as well. Uh, that, that can be done in the comments. Like it if you like the information. Subscribe if you want more information. Thanks for watching.